No, I'm done. I already you're explained good. it. No, you're good. I already explained it. It's over. What did you just yes. explain? I explained it. What I exactly did you I just explain? You, I didn't hear you. What did you say? Don't do that. Your smile is so horrible. Your wicked smile. We're all live right now, by the way. What's the need act? What's the need act, my friend wants to know? What 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 say you're reading there, by the way, Nick? Bye. Oh, it's a really good book. I've heard of that shit. Yeah. You can't make someone say it again twice. It's not possible. Okay. You want me to do it again? Let's make some room on the table. Oh yeah, we have food coming. Damn it, we were just talking about the need act. It's too late. So. Nick asked what the Need Act is, and uh, the Need Act is going to end all of our money problems. That's why we're hanging out here tonight, getting drunk, thinking and drinking. What's up? I'm Harrison. This is the fifth year in a row I've been doing this now, and uh, I'm here with some new friends. We're having a great time. What's up? Mark Proper, say hi. Hi. So yeah. So you guys want to, should I do my little sh drunk history spiel right now? I think I should sit. Yeah. Yo, we got a lot of people watching too. A bunch of friends. Yo, check it out. Wish you guys were all here. That's good. Because we're having a good time. We're going to do drunk dialing later. Yeah, what, what are we going to do later? We're going to be calling our representatives after having a few drinks on us and asking them to support the NEED Act, which is the bill that ends our debt. Well, it doesn't, it's not just going to end our debt, but it's going to lead us to that direction. What else does it do? It, well, first and foremost... It ends all our debt. It does do first that. First and foremost, it follows what the Constitution declared, which is to give the power to create money to our treasury rather than to a private bank where we actually owe interest to every time we need money for anything. Amen. So that's the first step to creating a debt-free society is to the need act to pass and give that power back to the treasury so we can create debt-free money to pay for things, which leads to us not having to pay taxes. I, I've been catering which leads to green new energy, yeah. yep. universal basic income. This makes it possible. Yeah. Free, edu you know, health, universal education, healthcare, and so forth. Word. That's Public. What was the uh, the um, election? Publicly. I'm really drunk. Yeah, well, there's sovereign think? elections. Publicly sovereign, funded elections. Uh, publicly funded elections. Yeah, it'll, it could pay for that too. So like, cap you know, capitalism has less. Of a presence. Yeah, I, I, I don't like the person. Well, I would never raise my sovereign currency. It, yeah, it, 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 it changes capitalism. Sense. Yes, it changes capitalism. Some it changes it. Yeah. So instead yeah, like, of, Mark, instead help of me out here. debt based <laughs> capital, you want me to help you out here? Mark can help me out here. Mark, Mark help her out here. What's the question? Pop quiz, need act time. Okay, shoot. What is the need act? What is the matrix? What is the need act? The need act is a bill that gets rid of the Federal Reserve and sets up a uh, government institution to determine how much money is necessary for a year in to run the country, then prints that amount of money for that year without taxation, and if there's any government uh, shortfall in funding, we print the money to pay it off and continue from there. Um, the currency is based on nothing, the currency just represents a single piece of like an exchange note in society that keeps society going rather than this piece of debt issued by the Federal Reserve. Yeah, so debt. I agree with the second part of what you're saying more. Okay. Like it, it's not that it would be better if the money was based on nothing. Like well, if if our money was well, based on nothing, okay, the money is that would be better on, because the money is based on it debt. Cool. I mean, I now it's based on debt. Yeah. yeah, not with the need act. With the need act, it would not be. With the need act, it would be based on equity rather than debt. It would be based on the labor needed, the laborers needed to produce the infrastructure for the country. Exactly. So we would spend money on infrastructure products, health care, education, roads, buildings, energy projects. And the money that's paid in wages to them then seeds out into the rest of the society exactly. to allow the people who are the capitalists, now that we have this supply side, oh, give the capitalists the money so they can make more money. Well, if you're just giving them money, 
Yeah. They don't really need to make money. They're just automatic winners. Put them back on top of it trying to get people's money instead of, you know, us trying to work for them and then buy things from the same people who are paying our wages. This sets up grassroots economics as opposed to trickle-down economics. So instead of... Uh, instead of bankers making up money out of keystrokes that represents the amount of tax debt that we have, and then, you know, basically loaning, distributing that debt to banks to distribute to us so that we can work real jobs, real blood, real sweat, real tears to make more debt, money, wages to pay back, to pay off to our government, to our banks, to our landlords, to whoever, and then that money trickles back up, it gets recycled back up after we do real work, but they make this currency out of keystrokes. So with the NEED Act, now all of a sudden, that it's still keystroke money, it's still money made out of nothing, but now instead of it being made out of debt that the government owes to the banks, now the government is spending it directly into existing it, spending it directly on people who actually create real value for society rather than bankers who just pay themselves for making it look like they're doing something when they're really not. And so, yeah. Um, I'm like two beers in. I kind of feel like I should have another one before I, I do a drunk history. That's tequila right there. But this bill, Where Jim this, Brady's in Wall Street. to take it further, this bill was written after Congress, former congressman uh, and former 2008 presidential candidate Dennis Kucinich read this book, The Lost Science of Money by Stephen Zarlenga. And he, uh, he wrote this bill with AMI after he read this book. And this book is, is a reinterpretation of Western civilization from the standpoint of how money gets created. <laughs> and uh, there's a really great chapter here. Every chapter is great, but chapter uh, 19, Trying for the Bakers. This establishes the, the establishment of the Federal Reserve banking system. And we're sitting across the street from the New York branch of the Federal Reserve Bank. And uh, on December 23rd, Woodrow Wilson signed this bill the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 into existence two days before Christmas when Congress wasn't wasn't around uh, I think the bill passed the house on uh, its 20th if I'm not mistaken of December 2013 I'm a little drunk so the dates are a little hazy and I don't have like pages spread out but basically uh, this 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 book lays out a really good uh, summary of how this happened so the people, the senator and the economist, if you will, who pushed this thing through, who really were the momentum behind this, Senator Aldrich, he was basically married into the Rockefeller banking plan. He was pretty much a part of this. And then uh, Paul Marburg was directly paid by the Rothschilds family. And these two lobbied really hard. They, in 2010, November 2010, these two uh, led an expedition to Jekyll Island with a bunch of banking executives to create this bill, the Federal Reserve Act of 1913. And then December 1913, it was shot through Congress. And it was really shady the way it happened, too. Uh, the Senator Aldrich and the United Banking Association, they actually lobbied against their own bill in order to make progressive Democrats like Williams Jennings Bryant and Woodrow Wilson, you know, Democrats who control the executive branch and legislative branch, they they actually, the bankers lobbied against this in order to trick the Democrats into supporting this bill. And um, both Williams Jennings Bryant, the famous Cross the Gold speech guy, and Woodrow Wilson both deeply regretted passing this bill after it was done. They knew they got duped. And, uh, it's a, it's a really great chapter. There's a lot more to it. Um, we can talk more about how the Federal Reserve wrecked America after that. But this was definitely a conspiracy and it happened right around this time, about 105 years ago. And that's why all of us are here tonight to commemorate this. Well, we just sort of have a good time thinking and drinking about this. And uh, we're here to do more. Please read this book. This book is really good. 
at uh, breaking it all down. Oh, another important thing. The reason why we know all this, this conspiracy, is because of uh, a man named Eustace Mullins who worked at the Library of Congress and who had access to all these documents and saw it. And uh, Eustace Mullins was monetarily illiterate because he was a student of the great American poet Ezra Pound, who was all about this stuff. Ezra Pound actually made his students read the monetary historian Alexander Delmar's writings when uh, they studied with him. T.S. Eliot studied with U.S. US uh, Eustace Mullins, too. And uh, they're both really monetarily literate because uh, Ezra Pound made them read Alexander Del Mar, who uh, Stephen Zarlenga is a big fan of, too. And, uh, yeah, so... That's why we're here. We're, we're hanging out, having a few drinks, talking about this, showing out some other stuff. Can I borrow your book real quick? Yeah. Oh, wow. I heard it was the, the, back, the back mirror. The back, um, this, uh, this is a much, much shorter version of this book. This is like, the, this is basically explains our monetary system, but it strips down the history to sort of a real good basic overview from a really good friend of ours, Mark Young. And uh, he's coming to the new school on... April 10th, 2019, this coming year, to talk about updates that are being written to this Build the Need Act. Obviously, it was introduced in 2011, and it's uh, it needs to be updated since it's been a couple years since it was first introduced. So, this guy, Mark Young, is coming to the new school. We're going to have a talk there. We'll live stream it, of course. We've got a lot of time before then for you all to do your homework and read up on this stuff, but I'll be giving away copies of this book to all my professors and some fellow students to hopefully get sociology professors actually talking about monetary studies and monetary history to actually start that intellectual paradigm shift to actually make something happen. But until then, uh, we got a drunk dial. We got the the next step in the yeah. movement is and to get was, another Congress like rep to support like this, this bill. To reintroduce yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, to reintroduce it. So we need someone to sponsor it. And so we've been um we started a campaign. Big shout out to William George and to Mark Nicholson who have been calling every Congress representative. Like I think they've made it from like Alabama through Alaska all the way up to California now. They're taking a break. We're gonna start calling again in February once. New Congress reps come back into play. Cheers, I need a new one. But uh, till then, why don't you make a call since you're on my phone? You want to make a call now? I don't know. Do it right now. I don't have your phone. Don't you have your Don't you have your reps saved in your phone? No. You don't have Nidia Velasquez just saved in there. Yes, yeah, Nidia Velasquez. Yeah, I know. Now we're here. Wait, we've been calling like people from Queens, right? Yeah, call Grace Meng again. Let's just get one call. I have my license. Oh, shit, yeah, I'm going to tag you in this photo. Or in this video, Mark like Robert. You know, Did you visit yeah. Austin? Are you keeping tag, Mark? Uh, when I was like... You were tag what? 14? Yeah. Uh, uh, I want to go back to the adult. Yeah. yeah. I don't like, know how to find your, this out. Who's Come great, on. music's great. Like, Food's great. Music's all right, all a representative from the yeah. house, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to house.gov. Yeah. And it asks you find your representative. So I put my zip code, There's like a, which I'm putting for Regal Park for 1374. Cool. And right away, see one button. Boom, 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 and it got Grace uh, Meng. She's chaos. my representative, supposedly. Yeah. Oh, I never, like, got the chance to All right, so I gave her a call. So Since it's after Dude, hours. Yeah. Was a we'll just leave a message. It's all good. We'll probably be leaving a voicemail. You went to sick us? Yeah, well, uh, I actually went to the I'm a little, you know. Like, Imagine calling your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend just, like, again and again yeah, and again uh, the with the same message. Like the, the like, the point... It's hard just to oh, dial. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, I got it. I'll keep talking while you keep dialing. So, yeah, I got, like, this is my... We don't... We don't it, tequila cup. So I'm drunk dialing for sure right now. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna just go with the flow. HR twenty nine ninety but one hundred. Yes. yes. So we don't actually expect them to like. Hey Ruth. Good to see you. We don't actually expect our representatives to like do this because it's rational. Cool. Cool. Good. Oh. Anyway. We're going through the voicemail right now. Did you go to Austin often? No, I went to this, and it's pretty awesome. 
So anyway, yeah, like we don't expect our uh, It'd be nice if they called us though. Yeah, the, 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 none of our representatives have ever called us back and actually taken us seriously over this. Hi, this message is for Grace Bang. Oh, cool. My name is Natalie yes. Shmuel. I'm actually, uh, it's I also, live it's such a fun and vote in your district. Like, district. It's, it's really, like, um, I'm actually calling to ask you to take a look at the NEED Act, which is H.R. 2990 of the 100th Congress. Um, this will like, help pay for universal basic income and universal education and health care. Um, it reassigns the power to create money back to the Treasury as the Constitution has declared it. Uh, my phone number so is. But like you, you walk and you're like tripping on this stupid And I live in Eagle Park, New York, one one three seven four. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a chance to check it out. Thank you so much for that. So, yo, thank you for doing that. You don't. Fun when you're a little drunk. It is right. Yeah. And like we, we don't expect them to actually call you back. It'd be nice if they do. It'd be nice if they do. But we're just we're just doing this and trying to leave evidence of it in order to encourage more people to start doing this. Yes. This is how movements start. Like we need. Well, no one else is paying attention here. It's fine now. Are you interested in Yeah, I got one. Oh, Doug, you're gonna do it. Hey, Thomas Crowtree, ready? Yeah, go for it, man. So, yeah, I mean, like, all we're trying to do here is start a shrine. Like, it's not like they're actually going to listen to us. But when one person does it, like, not, someone else, like Mark, does it. And, you know, when more and more people see people online doing this, we'll turn this shit into, like, an ASL ice bucket challenge. We just... It, this is about making direct democracy look oh, okay. cool as much as it is about the need act no, like voting that. isn't enough i had a political science professor at uwm who told me that it's actually more important to call your representatives than it is to even vote because your representatives don't even know what you're voting for but when you call them and you tell them what to do they actually have to take the time to record that they they write that down they put that in the log and that takes time and manpower and money to pay someone to do all that, to pay some aid. Here we go. So we get a lot of people doing this. It actually costs them money. I think Mark's calling Lee Zeldin. My name is Mark Crawford. I'm calling to support the NEED Act. Um, the NEED Act is the only bill that's going to help us through the next financial crisis by creating debt-free currency. Fucking yeah. um, When we go, and we're going to probably bail these banks out with no protection for the homeowners again like we did in 2008, we're going to need a sound economic policy to back us up in order to get us through. Um, since the current system is currently like, there. Um, so I'm supporting the NEED Act, um, H.R. 2990 of the 112th Congress. Yeah. And so I invite you to read that bill too. Thank you. Have a good night. Hell yeah. I'll leave my number, but not on Yeah, I don't, you know, I'll leave my number so in case they want to. Some, some call. My representative. Oh, forget about that. We actually had a 10 minute conversation about it. was surprising. So they do call back if you leave a number or something. Some some of them do if they're really cool. Keep it up. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, that was cool. That was very interesting, very basic. Sophie. So yeah, um, like 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 I'm saying though, we don't actually think they're going to listen to us. It'd be great if they did. No, we should expect. They we sh they should. We're supposed to. They work for us. We're supposed to tell them what we want them to do. They're more likely to do what we tell them. If we don't call them, 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 other people like corporations are gonna have them do what they want to do. So we have to call them. We know this shit works. We know that phone calls work. It's just about volume. And we're out here trying to start first, just to get other people to do this too. Yeah. We'll be hunting for more press. I think I'm having a great night. I think we'll do this again. Yeah. Get more people back here. So, and we'll invite some journalists to come hang with us, oh, yeah, make this feel a little drinks. bit more real. A couple more drinks, they'll call their representative. Probably. Yeah. And we're gonna go out and uh, take like a group photo in front of the Fed too later. Oh, yo, check this shit out. Here, hold this for a second. Let me show them something. Just hold that shit. What's that again? Yo, check it out. We've got fire. We don't just got guns. We got real firepower. Oh my god. We got some of this shit. We got some torches. Hell yeah, we got some guns and shit too. So we got this They're shit and some masks. Training guns. We're gonna go scare the media into passing this bill. Just shove this back in there. There we go. Alright, yo. 
Yeah. I think we're good, right? Yeah. Beastie Boys in the background. Thank you both for calling. If anyone else at home calls too. Yo. When you guys are ready to call, we'll pick this up again. Big shout out to William George as always. Yeah, hey William. Wish you were here, man. Leah Rose Wilson too. A lot right, of people cool. out there. I'm ending it, right? Yeah, end that shit. Peace. Finish. Keep drinking. Finish. Cheers.